There are many benefits to commuting by bike. I mean, it's cheaper. You'd have to pay parking, taxi, bus, or even train fees. It's faster. You can shoot through the traffic that bit quicker. And it's good for the environment. So today, well, I thought I'd swap out my regular bike and take out this. Now this is a Canyon Grail on e-bike. And I thought I'd show you some tips and tricks on how to commute by e-bike. So without further ado, well, we better get on. Otherwise, uh, well, I'm gonna be late for work. If you haven't seen or heard of an e-bike before, then let me explain. It's a bike like this with a neat little motor in. When you push on the pedals, the pedal assist kicks in, meaning you can zip away up hills and over tough terrain without gassing yourself. There are loads of different kinds of e-bikes out there. There's folding ones, meaning you can get on the train easily or put them under your desk. There's e-mountain bikes for those wanting to go over the rougher terrain. There's even step-through e-bikes for those who don't want to swing their leg over the saddle. A bit like my dad, yeah. Uh -oh! And then for those speed virgins out there, there's those road e-bikes. But I've opted for this, a gravel bike, a do-it-all bike going over rough terrain, but also keeping speed on those bike paths too. Now this might sound really obvious, but make sure your battery is fully charged. I mean, it's, it sounds daft, but it's easily forgotten. So what I would tend to do is be prepared the night before, check your battery and then stick it on charge through the night. That way you have full battery in the morning. And as an added bonus, when you get to work, you can always just top it up that way you can have good fun on your way home and there's no risk of losing battery. The last thing you wanna do is ride your e-bike dead. It'll make it, uh, well, quite hard to ride. Now, on the subject of being prepared, make sure you've got your bag prepared as well. And a good thing to do is prepare that the night before also. That way you get a little bit of a lie-in or you get a little bit more of a riding time. Luckily, I don't need a, uh, a bag for today's ride. But battery is fully charged. I'm fully charged, ready to go. Now, depending on how long your commute is, you can either opt for Lycra and full cycling kit, or if it's short like mine today, you can opt for more casual wear. One thing to remember though, is if you're riding those winter months, then to make sure you're wearing some light, vibrant clothing. So something like a fluorescent jacket, so you're seen on those dusky or even dark nights. And don't forget, safety is absolute key, so make sure you wear a helmet too. Leading on from helmets, we would definitely advise you invest in a good set of lights, a front and a rear for your safety, especially if you're commuting all year round when the nights get longer and those days get shorter. Nowadays, e-bikes can keep up with cars, so we want to make sure you're being seen whatever speed you're going at. When it comes to junctions, red lights, or even places with lollipop men, make sure you stop we want to give cyclists a good name and you don't need to worry about getting a good acceleration. You've got an e-bike, it'll do it for you. So be patient and wait your turn. Right, good to go. Now, one thing that does really put me off commuting is having to carry around a big, heavy rucksack. But there's loads of alternatives. You can use panniers or saddlebags. That way you can keep all that heavy weight off your back. And uh, well, as an added bonus, you won't get any sort of backache. Yeah. Now security is always key when it comes to commuting, especially if you're leaving your bike out on the street. What I would advise is getting a good lock, but what you could do instead of carrying a big heavy lock around with you is you could leave it at work. That way you don't have to take the extra weight. When it comes to route planning and you're lucky enough to have an e-bike, you don't need to avoid the 12% climbs that you would on a regular bike. No, you could take the fastest and most direct route. But I wouldn't get stuck in the rut of doing the same old route day in, day out. Mix up, have a bit of variety in there. So if you get to work on the quickest route possible, get in there. And then on the way back, if you have a bit more time, you can find a more adventurous route. If you're struggling to look for routes, then there's loads of different route planning apps like Kamut that you can go onto to find a really exciting route for your ride back, depending on what kind of bike you have. So today, I'm tackling the hills. What 
I definitely recommend you do is uh, avoid these busy main roads. It will lose the fun out of cycling. You'll end up slowing yourself down, having to weave through the traffic. So, top tip, go for quiet roads. After all, you want to enjoy your cycling. Now, unfortunately, I've got no one to ride with today to work. But if you have got a friend or a buddy that goes to the same workplace as you, or we go to the same area as you, then I would definitely recommend you buddy up with them. It makes your commute go that little bit quicker. A bit of company on the bike is absolutely key. I wouldn't mention you're on an e-bike though, because, uh, well, they might not want to ride with you again. Now, you're gonna save a lot of money while commuting by bike. I mean, it's gonna be saving money on parking, uh, train, taxis, bus fares. You could even use that extra bit of cash to treat yourself to a coffee or a croissant when you get to work. Or if you bank it, you could treat yourself to some cycling kit, some lights, or even a bike. Commuting by bike does not need to be weather dependent. I mean, I'm very lucky in the fact that I've got blue sky today, but here in Britain, where well, you can never be too careful. So if it's a short commute and you still want to wear your casual kit, I'd prepare your bike. So making sure you've got a set of mud guards. That way you don't need to worry about that surface water. And as a bonus, you don't need to worry about getting a soggy bum when you get to work. If you're the kind of person that on their commute you've got loads of traffic lights or loads of junctions and you're worried about tiring yourself out on those accelerations, well, the big advantage of an e-bike is it takes all that away. It zips away, does that acceleration for you. So you might get to traffic lights this time, look either side, see a car, and you might race them off the line. A bit like, uh, what am I gonna do now? Ah. Finally made it to work, but not gonna lie, quite enjoyed that commute. Has it inspired you to get an e-bike for your commute? Then let me know in the comment section below. But I hope it's given you some tips if you've already got an e-bike to get to work that little bit easier and stress-free. Right, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget though, if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. <laughs>